here I have an old RPSMA pigtail that's broken that I want to use to attach directly to this VTX. So I need to remove the RPSMA connector from the top of the VTX. To do so, use a very sharp pair of small uh, side cutters. The big mechanics type are too bulky and won't do the job. Uh, another way of doing this is uh, to use a hack, a very fine hacksaw and, uh, and cut through these, uh, these points. I'm just carefully trying to cut the outer four uh, pins that uh, connect the main body of the connector to the PCB. Once I've done that, sometimes you can wiggle this and, uh, and pull on it to remove it. If not, you can try cutting the centre pin. Here we go, try and pull on it to remove it. If it doesn't, don't force it because there is an easy, easy solution. And that is just a little dob of solder on a very hot soldering iron and carefully just desolder that last connector that's the centre pin that's holding it on. Now I'm left uh, with the four bits of the SMA uh, still to remove. So soldering iron, once again a bit of solder on there to help uh, heat it up quickly and uh, remove them from both sides of the VTX PCB. I've got uh, a bit of the old daggy factory solder still left on there. So I'm going to just take my solder sucker and uh, quickly remove the, the bulk of that. I find that uh, it, uh, fresh solder always works best. Now with the bulk of it removed, I can check for continuity between the different points. I want to see that, uh, I want to identify which points are earth and which points or which are the which is the centre pin that doesn't have continuity to the other four. So there's my four outer pins as I've cut them off. I have continuity on the board between each of those. Now at this point you can take a new uh, pigtail if you don't have a broken one like I did and uh, start prepping the pigtail. First of all mark the length that you want to cut the centre uh, electrode wire of the the, uh, the pigtail to, then move a few millimetres back from that and uh, cut through the sheath of the, uh, the plastic sheath around the outside weave. I should be using a board here but I wanted to do it in front of the camera, being careful not to cut myself. I'm going to be very careful not to cut through the, uh, the sheath at this point with your, your knife very gently cutting through. Then carefully peel back that, uh, that outer sheath cabling. It's, uh, it's woven around it so it takes a little bit of patience to properly sort of unravel it and uh, expose the, uh, the centre of the cable. Then cut that to length. Now I'll take the sharp hobby knife and once again try not to cut myself, I'm just trying to cut, gently cut through till I feel the centre wires and remove that outer piece of the centre uh, sheath. Now I'll take a bit of fresh solder and uh, carefully tin the end of the exposed bit uh, of the centre wire. I use a, a flux pen, flux pen uh, on the PCB here and apply fresh solder to the centre pin where I'm going to solder that wire on. Now the very hot soldering iron, just a, there you go, half a second is enough. And I now have it attached, noting that the sheath here protects, that centre sheath protects it from the, uh, from the outside uh, pin positions. I'm going to attach the uh, earth of the uh, sheath or the, the the wire to the other side of the PCB since they're commonly earthed to both sides. Just using solder here to connect that. And uh, trim off any excess. 
and I'm left with a nice neat connection, earth on one side and a centre pin on the other with that sheath protecting the centre wire from shorting out on that uh, outer uh, point that is uh, common to the other side. Now some uh, shrink wrap around it and uh, it's pretty much finished. And this is what it looks like inside of the Bolt RC Bolt 210 race frame. 